They say a woman's place is in the kitchen, but moms know today, we're always in the minivan. It's a proven fact that moms spend 107% of their lives in the car, waiting for kids to finish practice or simply to find their shoes. From Pathios, this is Carline Confessions. Here, we'll talk about what's going on on the other side of the windshield. From our minivan to yours, we hope that we can make the wait just a little easier. Don't make us come back there. hoping to make your weight a little better today. Um, <laughs> with Carline Confessions, we have Rebecca Cousy all the way from Washington, D.C. How's it going, Rebecca? Hello, hello. Well, it's warm and it's fine. It's good here. All right. Well, uh, Rebecca has a blog on Pathios called Tinsel Talk. I'm sure many of you have uh, seen this blog. Uh, Rebecca, tell us what kind of things you like to write about. Well, I, I officially write about movies and TV. Uh, I really, I'm a movie critic, so I go get see the movies ahead of time and tell you whether they're worth seeing or not. Um, and then I do some interviews and conversations with the stars or the movie makers, but sometimes I just write about myself too. Well, if you're a movie critic, does that also mean that you're just generally a critical person? Does it extend into your other life? Yes, extremely critical. You should ask my husband. <laughs> I did. He actually asked me to ask you that. So, uh, <laughs> so um, I guess I have to ask you, since you're a movie critic, probably the question that you hate to be asked, but what's your favorite movie? Oh, no, that's a good question because I have a, a visual aid. Oh, okay, nice. Can we see that? Where, where is it? There we go. That's my tattoo of a tree of life. <laughs> okay, nice. You can't see it very well. Um, so my favorite movie used to be Coen Brothers, um, but now it's Terrence Malick's Tree of Life. Okay, no, I can see it. And everything. No, I can see it very well. I can see it all the way in Tennessee. It's, it's rather <laughs> So um, tell me, why is that your favorite movie? Well, you know, it's all deep and everything. I'm I'm kind of one of these wannabe Catholics. I can't quite get over some of the some of the things that they do that are all wacky and incensey and statues and saints and stuff. But I love their theology and and Terrence Malick. Um, he really put that into film in a really uh, new way. He didn't really. It wasn't so much about. Uh, making a story that was a Bible story, it was about using the very images and the very um, kind of soft story in the movie to talk about life and the universe and creation and everything. So um, it just really moved me. It's it, this, The movie's all about the way of nature versus the way of grace. And mm -hmm. that's those two things are, are juxtaposed throughout the whole movie. And I just, I, every time I saw it, I cried. So um, yeah, that's my favorite movie. Okay, tattoo great. good. I, I, I think I have to uh, watch it based on the fact that you got a tattoo over it. I hate to admit I uh -huh. had I had a tattoo made of my favorite movie, but it was Elmo Lost in Grouchland, and I've kind of come on that, so I won't show it to you right now. Um, well, at least it wasn't The Hangover. <laughs> All right. No, I don't want you to just pee on your pants. <laughs> 